So in conclusion then, we've gone through a number of stages here. We have defined our node or slave Jenkins machine and we've configured that machine to run up an Amazon EC2 instance in our AWS cloud and when it runs up that instance it will run some initialization scripts that will configure that particular machine exactly as we need it for our application we're going to build, install and test. In addition to this we've configured our first job and that job was configured to to run on the node that we've labeled as RC build deploy server. It was also configured to build periodically but because we didn't define a particular period here we kick it off manually. We defined the shell script that will do the build and the install for the application and then finally we configured some post build tasks that will do some initial smoke tests and check that the application is actually running. We then saw how you can kick off that particular job or build by clicking and manually driving that schedule and then each time that build or job completes it's given its own unique label number one number two for example and that status is displayed on our home page which tells us whether it's in progress passed failed and then some historical data about whether or not we've had any failures over the past few builds. In the next sessions we're going to look at how to integrate tools like Selenium and JMeter and pull those all into Jenkins so that Jenkins configures and kicks off all of those tests against our application under test as well.